A lot of these teams have maybe one specialized area. Pitt is just an all-around dominant squad. As we get you set here in the women's building, and we are underway. Sears Amps with the set. Bumps it again. Behind to George on the far side. And an early point for Syracuse. Great start. That's exactly how you want to set the tone, right? And they can feed off of this crowd in the building, Nico. The energy in here is awesome. I mean, we arrived just before 10 a.m. this morning, and there was already a sizable Pittsburgh crowd here, and they are loud. Well, it's an environment that's been missing the past couple of years for Syracuse. Snuffed up front, Harris Wadi, Ava Palm up there. Pitt again. And that's off the hands of Ryland Jones for Pitt. And they've evened it up here early on in set one. Ryland Jones did not get the start against Boston College on Friday, but here she is playing today. She had three kills a week ago in the sweep against Georgia Tech. Baum sends it over. Pitt a chance to take advantage. Stafford moves it off the hands of Skylar George. Not fast enough to react on the back row. Tori Stafford, really powerful attack. Sophomore also from Southern California, along with Olivia Babcock. They kind of came in tandem, and they are both big threats up front. A few Californians on this team. Coach Fisher also had experience in California, played at University of Pacific for a couple of seasons. Also coached at San Francisco up in Northern California, where he lived in the city for a couple of years. Talked to him before the game, said that was, it was one of his most fun moments in his volleyball career was living in San Francisco and now having a chance to be the helm of Pitt, and he's been doing it for a while, solidifying this program into the powerhouse that they are today. 3-1 Panthers. Valeria Vasquez Gomez to send it away for Pitt. On the chance to get the orange going, and she does. A really textbook on that far side from Ava Paul. Puts herself in great position, and that's those coordinated attacks that Syracuse was lacking a lot last season and have shown out this year led to that 12-0 start. Baum had four kills against SMU on Friday, and this was an issue for Syracuse a couple of days ago as well, was the service aces, or rather service errors. And Sarah Bonchakowska gives SU its first service error of this matinee. Now you get the returner, Kat Flood, who's a fantastic server. We were talking a little bit about her before the game, and you mentioned she's one of the cornerstones for this Pitt squad. Three ball, four Pitt. Stafford slings it down. Well, it seemed like Syracuse had a couple of things going right, right off the bat, but Pitt has settled things down here in the last few points. Well, that's the thing as well, is that you can play a good game against Pitt and still be down. And Coach Fisher said the other day that even maybe a bad day or when Pitt isn't as on as a team as they usually are, it's still a pretty good performance, all things considered. Ava Palm, with the point there for Syracuse. Stop this net. But ball dribbled out of bounds, which is a big break for SU. Uh, they don't miss on a lot of those blocks. Definitely not. Ava Palm came out of that on the uh, positive side for SU. Team leader in kills, digs, aces. Ava Palm doing it all this season for Syracuse. But it's going to be the other players that need to get going for SU today. What a save by Greta Schlichter on the far side. Stafford again. And she repeats her second kill in a few points. Tori Stafford is off to a great start in this game, and Pitt gets back into system so quickly. Sends it to that near side, and then just a powerful hit. Stafford reported 14 kills against Boston College, a 321 hitting percentage. 
She's hit over 300 this year. 11 times. And there is a service error for Pitt. So things are evened up in that category. Yeah, Pitt and Olivia Babcock, who had those 12 service aces on Friday that we talked about. So that's a big break to get her off serve. Here's Zaria Harris-Wadi. <laughs> Leah Mirlon on the uh, right side there for Pitt. Had her first career start over Ryla Jones on Friday. But now both of them starting here on this morning. That one just caught a piece of one of the Syracuse blockers in front. Believe it was Bruna Fereska. Schlichter mistimed Bunarowska, and that was an issue that we saw on Friday against SMU. With some miscommunication, Syracuse had a lot of rotational errors early on. Annie Nicole Nikova not starting today for Syracuse. And we talked to Coach Donna Strong before the game today. He, he mentioned that he, he put that on himself. He had wrote down wrong number. He flipped a couple of numbers uh, for Syracuse that allowed them to not get a couple of points early on in that contest. And he's, he said he's not going to do it again tonight. That's all you can do. Bounce <laughs> back. Stuff like that's going to happen. And, and a lot of times in any sport, but specifically in volleyball, coaches, you know, I think there's maybe an expectation that coaches are perfect. But they make mistakes just like the players do on the floor. And credit to Coach Bake for taking, it, taking responsibility for that mistake. Ava Palm with the kill for SU. Ava Palm in the middle of the court. She does a really good job to come off that back line. She recognizes those two blockers right in the middle. It just goes for that left side. Knows she has that space to work off that left side. And the ball does exactly what she thought. It's one thing Syracuse has done well this year is having that back row firepower. Skylar George, Ava Palm both doing it. Sears Anta Palm again. And it works. Ava Palm back to back points for Syracuse. Exact same strategy. Just go off that back row through the middle of the court and just kind of power it down the Panthers midline. Babcock trying to respond, and she does as that ball goes awry for Veronica Searsant. I mean, if that's not a showcase of Olivia Babcock's power, I don't know what is. I mean, that ball deflected all the way off the windows over on the far side of the court here. Babcock, the reigning national freshman of the year, just doing it all for Pitt. Here's Dylan Griffin. Vashikowska sends it just a little bit too far. Syracuse complaining that it tipped a one of the pit players, but that is not the ruling. Griffin, another one of those Californians on this pit squad. From Orange County, stands at 5'8", as a junior for the Panthers. Sears Ant setting up Vashikovska. She floats it over. Oh, what a save that, oh my goodness, that almost Stayed in on the uh, the back row on Pitt's side. Syracuse almost got away with a yeah, almost got away with one, but not quite. Would have been fantastic. Timeout, Syracuse. Syracuse. Panthers up 12 to 6 here in set one. A great crowd at the women's building. We'll be back in just a sec.